Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodabout. It's been a night of recording here. We are very <laughs> tired, but we are very happy to vlog Hockey Locker 2002, West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. I'm Daniel Goodabout, and over there we have John Landowski. Today, well, earlier this week, they announced the signing of UC Soros. Now, me and John kind of waited a little while on this one yeah. because we're still trying to get a full grasp of the contract. Right. Okay. So with that being said, now the full grasp of the contract is set. It is a four-year, $5 million deal straight across the board. Fine by me. Personally, a guy who finished sixth in Vesna voting and his first time being in Vesna voting is just impressive. Now, right. he's 26 years old. He doesn't have the size of Pex. But let's just talk about something real quick, okay? His first year with the Preds organization as a player inside the organization, meaning with us or with Nashville. Right. Okay? right. He played one game in the NHL, had a 3.10 goals against average, bad save percentage, had a horrible game. Yeah. That happened. Especially when it's your first game and you only play one. Right. Okay. That year also, though, think of this. In the AHL, he had 38 games played with a 2.24 goals against average with a .920 save percentage, 29 wins, 8 losses. Right. Four shutouts. Remember, the only, the only thing for us is we didn't get to see him for very long because he was so stellar. Exactly. Then he went to the World Cup. Two games played after that. That was the year that Preds went to the to pretty deep in the playoffs. So he was sitting on the bench for most of that. So once the, they were out, right. he went to the World Cup. Like two games. 0. 0.00 goals against average with a perfect save percentage and two wins and two shutouts. Right. The next year, he split time between the Admirals and Nashville. 21 games for the Predators, had a 10-8-3 and three record. Okay. Um, had one shutout and had a 2.35 goals against average. Yeah. That's great. 15 games for the Admirals, posted a 1.86 goals against average, a .934 save percentage, 13-2. and two. Right. Next year for the Preds, he went 11 and 11, 5 and 7. The next year, he only he also played for the Admirals. He played nine games, 2.88 goals against average, or a 0 0.906 save percentage, and a 3.51 goals against average. If I remember correctly, that season in particular, um, that was the year that we had the cardiac kids, and I was ready to go crazy. Um. So that was the last year of Dean Evanson, if I remember right. correctly. I think so. All right, 2018, 17, 10, and two. The next year, 17, 12, and four. The, this last season, a 2.28 goals against average, 0 0.920, or sorry, 0 0.927 save percentage with a 12, uh, 21, 11, and one record with right. two shutouts. He also played in six playoff games with a point, a 2.78 goals against average with a 0.921 save percentage, no shutouts with a two and four record. Right. All right. With that being said, if there's anybody you want to pass the torch from Pekka to, it's the guy Pekka trained. Right. Here's the real kicker of it all. You don't know how much money Pekka made last year? Five million dollars. How much does Saros get paid? Five million. How much did Saros get paid last year? 2.25. David Bridich is only making 1.25. We cut cost and got just as much effectiveness as far as backup goes. Right. If Saros holds his own, we're fine. If he doesn't, ask Rob's in the waiting. It's that simple. You got four years to figure it out. One thing I will say about goaltenders is, and this is a common known fact, they develop 
long it takes longer to develop a goaltender than it does a defenseman before right. we it takes longer to develop a, a goalie than it does take to develop a coach. Right. So I mean, just saying all that overall, it, it it's this is a worthy investment to see what he can bring to the table over the next four years. Right. Personally, I hope it puts a trophy on our shelf. Me too. But we can hope. But beyond that, that's all I got for you on that one. Uh, we're still waiting on Ellie Tolvin to sign the deal. We're still waiting on to see if any other free agency sign. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow we will be back with that, and we have some Florida Everblades news for you. So we'll be back tomorrow. Peace.